but like opening up to people is definitely like a hard thing for me. But like coming here, I've just realized that like these are people that I can't open up with and like meet and I don't know, I trust them and they're really nice. But yeah. So what has been the best thing so far about the Academy in the few short days we've been here? Probably the major. I agree, for sure the major. I actually, last night at the faculty smorgs, uh, I'll be writing about this in an article, but basically we stayed like an extra 36 minutes after we were supposed to come back for snack and we were just talking with Frank and just learning so much math that made my head hurt, but it was just really fun and I really enjoyed that. I think it's awesome how many different majors and minors we have here so that people can explore different interests or find new things to become interested about. And, but for me, one of the best things so far about the Academy has definitely been the people. Like I said, it's I'm a pretty outgoing person, but even if I weren't, the people here are just so friendly and kind, and I just feel very safe here and comfortable. I think, like, well, I definitely love my major, yes, like, that's my favorite part, but, like, um, just last night, we were all, like, in our room together, and just, like, getting to know people, like, it's just a place where you come, and yes, you're, like, learning, but you're also learning about a person, too, like, you're not just learning and taking classes, and for me, that, I don't know, we had so much fun last night, and we do it every night, so it's fun. Okay. So, what has been the worst thing so far? Um, the worst thing so far is definitely necessary evil. Um, the red light, green light activity. I, I view it, because my group personally, we didn't get that much out of it because most of us were in agreement on things. There were like two that were two greens, some yellow, and then mostly red. Um, but that's just me personally, but it is a necessary evil. Yeah, and I think that the red light, green light activity, while it went different for everyone, everyone probably got something different out of it, I think it was a good thing for us to do so that we could talk about what kind of community we want to have here at MSA and discuss issues that we might not get to maturely talk about with maybe our peers back home. I think this is a good environment to be able to discuss hard topics like that, so I'm yeah. grateful that they gave us that opportunity. I, I'm grateful it's just... I understand, yeah. For me, probably the worst part so far has been the fire NATO drill. <laughs> that was awful. So when we went down into like the tunnels, there was this... People called it... I don't even know. But there were this, these puddles of just... I don't know. Questionable liquid. Questionable yeah, liquid. It, it was not my favorite. It was very hot, but I guess now I'm prepared if I'm ever in the fire NATO. Were, were you guys closer to the to closer to the exit like last ones in or were you some of the first ones? Oh, in? we were the first ones. Yeah, we were the closest. Yeah, only the so last ones to get out. I was like there were like four people behind me and I was like the fifth last person in. So we weren't in there for very long. I was in the middle, so I was the thirty. I just kept hearing the thing. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I, I had one of the speakers right above my head. You know, oddly enough, the, my roommate's alarm clock, it's the, the tone that it makes is the exact same noise <laughs> as, the, as the tornado alarm. So, like, I wake up to that every morning and it's kind of. It's like kind of questionable, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the worst part for me, it's not even like bad, it's like good. But like I'm a very indecisive person, so like they give us all these options of like what classes we want to go to, like in the evening and stuff. And for me, I'm just like a person that wants to like explore and experience everything. So not being able to like do all of them, that's probably the worst part. So yeah. And I think with that, I personally, and I think it'd be a good idea for others maybe, depending on who they are. To be able to try different activities and go to things that you're not used to so that you can get an experience of like what everything is like. I'm going to try to challenge myself and go to one of the math chats, which normally wouldn't be my cup of tea, but do it. I may awesome. learn it. something cool, so we're gonna do that eventually. I would say that the um, 
The uh, worst part for me is on half the time my minor is in the chemistry building. And so people who don't know exactly what the chemistry building is, there's Mark Twain, which is on one side of the campus. So I have to, on some points in time, I have to go from all the way there to the chemistry building, which is on the exact opposite side of campus. And it's like, it's like a 10 minute walk if you're walking briskly. And I don't know if I can get there without getting lost. Yes, that is definitely an issue I think many scholars have been facing is that even when I'm just going to the geology auditorium, sometimes I'm like, whoa, where am I going? But I'm sure that will get the hang of it once we start getting into the things. I heard this one, that's about it. So I come here every morning, but after that I get lost. Yeah. And so one last question that I have is, what are you guys most looking forward to about the rest of our weeks here at the Academy? I mean, they keep the schedule pretty, pretty locked down. Um, so I guess I'm looking forward to some of the surprises that we have that we don't yet know about. I, I want to see when the, the news website and videos and stuff all goes live. I want to see what the final product looks like because right now, do we even? I don't even know if we know what the actual official name of the website is going to be. But I kind of want to know. So I'm looking forward to that. Yes. By the time that you guys see this podcast, the website and everything should be live on the YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check that out. Maybe you're watching it. Shameless self promo. Maybe you're watching it on that. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You can come back and check out more of our content. We will be creating quality content all the time. So be ready for that. That's something you guys can all look forward to. Um, okay, so one of my most, okay, the thing I'm most looking forward to is definitely, like, deep, I think deepening would be the right word for friendships, like, getting to really, really know these people, but also seeing how, like, I go out of my comfort zone, because that's a big thing they challenge you here, is to, like, do something out of your comfort zone, like, Morgan said she's going to go to a math chat, like, I want to see how I deep in my comfort zone and go out of it and change and see how it becomes life awakening. Yeah, I think I can definitely agree with that in that like the life awakening aspect of this that we all heard uh, I think someone talk about on the first day. And I think that if you let MSN be an opportunity that's life awakening it will be and that if you go into the mindset that you're going to be able to learn and to develop skills, enhance friendships, and just become a better version of yourself, then it can definitely be that. And so I'm excited to see what these three weeks, like three weeks have in store for us. Yes. Okay. I have one more question. Do we camera lens back yet? Oh, thank you. <laughs> On air. There we go. I had to do it. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning into the first episode of The Map. Come back and join us soon. Bye.